Hi folks, we're back with more of the training. We have a question from Pizio. He said he wants us to know how to see an extrusion using the reference line. So I'm going to do this right quick. So you want to add a reference line here. And let's just add it at this origin point And let's make it at a 45 degree angle. I go right about there at 45. Finish. Okay, now here you want to make sure this is locked. It should be. So I'm going to align this to there. Yep, it's locked. Okay, now here you want to just add a reference. Uh, 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 you want to add a label here. So I'm going to add out. And I want to go in arrow take. And then I want to select angular. And I want to select angle for here to here. And click that. And then you can add a label here like you do any other reference plane. So we'll select this guy. And then we're going to hit this guy here, add label, and let's call this our angle. And we'll leave it as a type parameter for now, and we'll say OK. So there's our angle, and let's see if it rotates. So let's go into our family types here, and there's our parameter, there's our angle, and let's change it to 60 see what happens here just make sure everything's working apply okay and that is that works so let's go back to 45 here so there's our 45 again so we're gonna hit apply and okay now we have our reference line here, and now he says he wants to see an extrusion and how this works. So we've got our angle set. So now to create an extrusion, we'll go create. And then uh, here, you want to set this on a plane. Yeah, that's the only way you can do this, I think, to make it work. So I'm going to set plane, and then here I want to say pick a plane. So I'll pick this line, and I'll say OK, and then I'll pick the reference line. Just click it. And then we'll simply draw in our extrusion. I'm going to go align there, to there, bring this up 10 inches, bring this down, this straight down to there, and we'll close it. And then we finish. So there's our extrusion. Let's see what this looks like in the 3D view now. I'm going to actually tile these with key and one of the T and ZA zoom them all. So there's our three our, our extrusions. So now I'm going to view, I'm going to tap these views now. And I want to have this guy, our, our reference level out front so we can see what's happening here. So now we have our extrusion. And then now we want to go into our types, our family types here. And let's rotate again. Let's go with our 60. Okay, so that's, that's all to it. Now let's go into our 3D view here. There we go. I'm going to tile these again. ZA. So it's very simple. You just have to uh, make sure you got, a, you got the set on the plane. So you can make this any angle you want. Um, Close these, we don't need these necessarily. Uh, so again, I hope that's what you wanted, what you're asking for here. It's basically, uh, you just create the line, you gotta uh, make sure you just make this a 90. So okay, so this works, so that's how, that's all to it. So. Uh, uh, Pizio, thanks for watching my video. I uh, hope this helps. Uh, uh, try to help with, with all my subscribers as much as possible. But anyway, that's how that works. That's basically... Uh, right there. Again, I want this guy out front. And I'm going to make this fine view. And I'll make this uh, shaded. So there's our, our shape. And then again, we'll go into our create family types and we can change this back to 45 or whatever angle you want to use here 
So hey, thanks for watching my video. Uh, if anybody new to this, please subscribe. This is just a continuation to a question from one of my subscribers. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Let's make this a 30. <laughs> Pretty cool. Sorry I didn't share it in the last video, but yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hope to see you all again in the next video. Peace out, y'all. Bye.